what's up youtube it's your boy one punch gaming and today i want to bring you guys a beginner tips and tricks video to skyforge because i feel like this video is needed in every single new mmo to any console or you know pc um so the first tip that i'm going to say you know like when i was researching this game and i'm looking it up as i'm downloading this game i see three million credits for a new character you know on pc they're like you can finish the temple or something and you get all the new characters so they felt like it was a ripoff okay I see what you're saying, but if we got every single new character on Skyforge after we complete the campaign or whatever you're saying, this game would be boring. I'm sorry, but it would be boring. But the three million credits are not hard to get, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you why. Okay, so I feel like people say three million credits, you know, really hard to. Get. I've been playing this game for one day, by the way, almost one million credits. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how I did it, and if you follow this as a beginner, you will be able to get a new character by the time you're at the end of the campaign. I promise you. So basically, what you want to do as a beginner, save every dime of your credit. Because, you know, a lot of people, they go into the uh, capital and they, they see, you know, the cathedral. And they're like, oh, well, this requires credits. Why not? Well, you don't want to spend your credits here, first off, because it's, you know, even though they raise your might and they raise your prestige, the, the knowledge of um, enemies is going to raise it. It's going to raise it more you know um over like as a whole because you know like you know the followers you have to build them up and then it's not going to raise them by like 200 you know but the knowledge the tower of knowledge does not require credits and you will get credits in the knowledge of enemies that's required in the tower of knowledge over time through the campaign and that's going to raise up your prestige now you want to finish the campaign first literally race through that shit like it's not hard well take that back it is hard it's hard as fuck solo like i finished maybe like four area solo in the fifth or sixth area i definitely had to get help the shit's not easy whenever you get to like those high level enemies and things like that but you know for the low levels you can solo but i would recommend getting three people right off the bat maybe friends go around and meet some new people you know that you just see around the map floating or whatever floating but um yeah seriously get people and race with the campaign if you do this correctly and you race with the campaign you will have over three million credits because what you want to do is you know, as your prestige rises, you'll be able to um, unlock this little capsule and it'll give you credits. Literally everything you do gives you credits. So I don't understand why people are saying three million credits for a lot. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but in this game, you do not use credits for anything other than new, other than a new character besides, the, you know, the cathedral and maybe some clothes you want to buy. But that's it. And after you complete the campaign, it's so easy for you to get credits. You know, it's such an easy grind. You can look up the videos of, you know, they're getting 45,000 um, credits in one, you know, little run. It's so easy. It's not hard. You seriously just have to save your credits. It's like in real life. Save your money, and then you'll have tons of money. Save your credits, you'll have tons of credits. Don't spend a dime of your credit until you get $3 million and you want that new character. And I say that because, you know, the characters you get through classes, sure, they're fun. By the way, max them out. I would recommend that because, you know, whenever you have that much free time running through the campaign, so easy to max them out. So max out all three of those classes just to get them out the way. I recommend that for every class. But as soon as you finish the campaign, you'll be able to have a brand new character. Make sure it's one that you want to grind on so that way you don't have to, you know, be like, oh, shit, I don't even want this character and I'll have to grind another three million. Even though it won't take long, don't get me wrong. But it won't be as much fun as if you have a character that you want to play with. So make sure you do your research on that. But that's really it for a beginner. Literally just focus on the campaign, the knowledge of um, enemies, the knowledge of tower. Upgrade that to increase your prestige. Run the dungeons every single day, twice. Because I believe if you run them twice, they still drop gear. But you can't run them more than twice, otherwise they won't drop your gear. So run the dungeons every single day, the ones that's high enough for you to drop you know, gear for you to raise your prestige. Run with, um, if you're going through the campaign, seriously race through it. Run with three people to go by much faster. Because you won't be able to solo the whole campaign. Trust me, I've tried. And you literally get one shot. It doesn't matter if you think you're good, like I did. They'll one shot your ass, trust me. Um, that's really it for a beginner, though. Uh, not really else much to say. Just really save everything. Even the diamonds down here that I have 20 of, save those. Because you can convert those into credits. And that's a whole other video, man. It's so, it's so many ways to get credits in this game. It's crazy. Um, but it's your boy, One Punch Gaming, sending out into next time. If you like the video, let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below what videos I should make next. Comment down what I missed, you know, for the beginners, the newbies, or whatever. I'm out. Peace.